Hi, this is the Bronx Gardener, and today I wanted to bring you another update on my garden. So we're going to start off right here with this purple pepper. Yeah, man. And it has, like, look, see, that one's coming in on it, that one's coming in on it, that one down there. Ha, huh, those two right there. I don't know if those are going to make it. That's a green pepper from this pepper plant over here. I'm like so many peppers are coming in it's like October no it's November 1st actually to be exact and see little baby pepper there uh, pepper there um, this one has like flowers and all that coming in look at see little pepper I'm really happy and I got broccoli coming in and I don't know if I should be too happy or if this is just global warming. I don't understand. Maybe I know that peppers like the heat. Maybe they just didn't like the excessive heat. So they're really taking off now. This is just like, um, baby. It's my dog up there. Baby, be quiet. He thinks he's tough. Um, my sage is down there. I mean, my lemon thyme. Um, yeah. I had taken, see right there, I had taken my broccoli, a head of broccoli. Oh, look at, look at that, a nice little tree I found while being out here. A little thing of broccoli coming in. I have a lot of things of broccoli coming in. That's a thing of cabbage down there. None of my cabbage ever came to a head, but I think, oh, look at another thing of broccoli, but I think I'm going to, like, still take it and use it in salad. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. I have so much broccoli coming in. Oh, that was hidden. Look at that. Oh, yes. That's awesome. Yeah, this is this is this is going to be a good video, guys. This was some basil that was in the house. My mom ripped it out by accident of the dirt to throw it in the garbage cuz we were cleaning back here even though it does not look like it. And yeah, she tried to throw it in the garbage. I had to take it right back out the garbage and put it in the dirt. Not doing too good. Oh, and I have a couple of Brussels sprouts. I don't really know how they grow. I know that I don't like them. It's a Brussels sprout. I think this is Brussels sprout too. Oh, I have more. Look at that. Yay, I have more cherry tomatoes coming in. They do not care about the weather. No, they do not. <laughs> and that's just fine with me. I have tomatoes there. Oh, yeah, and then there's these two tomatoes I have hidden here. I don't know what happened with that one. I got a lot of scarring. Um, oh, yeah. That pepper right there. So I got so many different type of peppers coming in, too, which is awesome definitely not bad gonna go back here to my broccoli and my kale and my sweet potato patch this is my sweet potato patch I know it looks like something's been in there but that was me that I was the something that was in there I pulled up like three sweet potato no four maybe five for Thanksgiving so that they could cure by then look at this head of broccoli right here that's so pretty um let me see any more no, I don't think we have any more broccoli crumb. Oh, but here's another pepper. And these leaves are so different than the other leaves. So, I'm not really sure what's going on over here. Oh, look. Another thing of broccoli. Oh, no. Oh, no. I see something bad on this guy right here. It has... What are those? So you guys can see, has those. Is it gonna? I don't think it is. Nope. But it has those little brownie blacky eggies. Yeah. So I'm just gonna take off everything that I can, basically. See all of that in there? I'm gonna use one of the leaves itself to just go in there and clean it, cause you know. I guess I'm a girl when it comes to that. It seems nasty to just touch it. And I don't want to do that. And then... Because things, I feel like things like that travel, so I'll just 
swoop that over there. But I've been getting a lot of that now. And I had that problem when I first had my garden. When I first started growing it. You know, those little bugs. What is this? It just looks so different. Oh no, I guess, no, it's the same thing as broccoli. The leaves just looked a little different. But that's my beautiful kale. It's doing so good. And it even started popping up in random places. Like, I'm about to go show you guys some some places that started popping up. Come on. Let's go, guys. This is where we just came from. Oh, crazy dog. That's my, my son's carrots. Alright, so where? I know I found it. Um... Oh, right here. Look it. A little baby kale popped up. I think that's awesome. So, yep, that happened. Oh, see, tomato here. I got two tomatoes. I rested them in there because I have found a big, big, big old threat tomato worm eating on my tomato. I was so mad. Um, some roses. Yeah, more tomatoes. Oh yeah, you know what I think is crazy? This type of tomato was so unprolific this summer, but it's been booming now that it is like cold. I guess it didn't like the heat and it was doing horrible. Now, look at that, two, four, six, eight, literally eight tomatoes from a tomato plant that wasn't giving me anything so that's awesome but yeah I know like my backyard looks a mess so what I'm thinking about doing is that needs to be mulched right so my logic is when I'm picking up these leaves to just like you know pick them up bag them and then just take the bags and empty them inside of there so that it could be mulched so that we don't have to spend money on buying mulch because you know that shit is expensive so yeah that's basically what we're gonna do here's some more Here's another one there. Got some more coming in up there up top. Oh yeah. And that little melon that was growing. It winded up dying off. So I'm actually going to take you guys inside real quick. So that we can go. Um, yeah see what came out of it. Alright come on let's go inside. Excuse everything that's about to happen. <laughs> Joking. Let's turn this light on. My son's watching TV. I think I put it in here. Yes. Okay, so this was the little melon. It just like the whole plant, the vine died. But, oh! And in the sink you were. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, when we cut it open, it was actually, you can't really see here, but it was really like, um, like that yellowy orangey look in um I think this is a honeydew. Yeah, sorry, I just wiped my nose. But yeah, and my mom she really liked it. She really enjoyed it. It really doesn't. It's not doing any justice in here. I'm about to take it outside. Maybe you guys can see more of the color. So yeah, this is what it looked like. yeah let's get into the light a little bit so yeah that's really how I looked right there and it was really seedy so I didn't I didn't per se like it but my mom is she's a fan of like um, what do you call it cucumbers that are seedy so she really liked it she really enjoyed it so she's gonna eat the other half yep that was how it looked um yeah so if you want to stay updated with my garden, please stay like, um, please subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Alright, so have a good day. Bye.